I remember a day in high school when the principal asked a group of students, including myself, what we wanted to pursue as a career. And I told her I wanted to become an artist. She said, well, you better marry a rich man if you want to do that. At first, that was hard for me to hear because while she was praising the other students who had more traditional career paths, that was the only thing she had to say to me. But I didn't let it bother me for long because to me, becoming an artist was never about the money. It was something I felt was a part of my life's purpose and the passion I felt for it was too strong not to follow it. I always enjoyed drawing. It was mainly cartoon style doodles I did now and then for fun. Whenever someone would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I never really felt like I knew what I wanted to do, so I would just say I wanted to be a teacher. But I never really felt any connection or excitement towards that. I was always very shy growing up, and any time I had to stand in front of a class full of people, it was really hard for me and I had a lot of anxiety. I never imagined I would one day become an artist. In high school, I signed up for a career path course for students interested in becoming a teacher. On the first day of school, I found out that class was canceled and I was placed in drawing instead. One of the first assignments was to draw a portrait of someone referencing a photo, and I decided to draw a portrait of my younger brother. And from the very start, I just loved the process and the challenge of focusing on detail and precision to create a realistic portrait of someone referencing a photo. I remember feeling a little uncertain about it at first, but that schedule change ended up being one of the greatest things to happen to me. It changed my life forever because that's where I discovered my passion for photorealistic drawing. I just felt a strong desire to keep improving and developing my skill, and it felt like something I never wanted to stop doing. My favorite subject to draw has always been portraits of people. I see every person I draw as someone who has their own unique story. And I think humanity is what makes up the greatest work of art on earth, and to be able to draw a small part of that has always felt very special to me. I just love the process and the challenge of focusing on detail to create a realistic portrait of someone using just pencils and paper, and it just felt like something I never wanted to stop doing. I see every drawing as a journey full of opportunities to learn and become better. This is something I always try to remind myself of because I've gone through times in the past where I've been too hard on myself when something didn't turn out the way I'd hoped. Whenever I look back at my earlier work, I always feel really proud of the progress I have made. Although I couldn't see the improvements being made in the present, with every minute of practice came learning and experience which led to growth. I don't see myself as being the best at what I do, I see myself as being my best, and that's something I'll continue to strive for every day of my life. I feel like I don't have a really profound reason for why I love to draw, I just know that I love trying to draw my subjects full of life, and I care a lot about what I do. 
This pursuit has taught me that I'm capable of doing things that I never thought I would be able to do. And that with confidence in your abilities and the persistence to not give up, there are no limits and nothing or no one can stop you from achieving something great.